Hello, in this module, I'm gonna be firing up Choreographer in the offline mode. Choreographer is the software that I use to set up and control my Choreomaster or my Choreomaster 2. So here it is on the desktop. Once again, you download this from the uh, customer support website and uh, just look in software. You have several options here. You can create an offline configuration, is what we're going to do in a second, but you also can load a configuration from a file. So you can see I've got some here I've created already, or you can connect to the device, and I'll be showing that in the next module. So the first thing I'll do is create an offline configuration, and, and this is really useful if you're designing a system and you don't have the uh, hardware yet, or you want to check out whether Choreomaster or Choreomaster 2 will uh, fulfill your job. So on the top level, we can pull a drop-down box down, and you can see here, this is the, the Choreomaster 2, the Choreomaster, the Choreomaster Mini, and the Choreomaster Micro, and below, we have the Choreview products. Now, in this series, I'm not going to show you Choreographer working for Choreview. There are some other videos on the YouTube site already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a Choreo Master 2. So the first thing I can do is I can give it a name so I can call it the name of the project and that helps later. And essentially all I do is I go through and add modules. Now the, the two columns in a Choreo Master 2 are slightly different. The right hand column will take the high bandwidth modules and the left hand column will take standard modules of course the right hand column will take uh, standard modules as well so all i do do the drop down menu and start uh, adding mo modules so it's going to be the uh, media and streaming module and i just carry on adding modules so maybe a broadcast module uh, maybe i want to have some legacy formats like uh, dvi or um, vga or composite video or svda so th that module will do that for me and I can add up to eight modules in here. Below, I can add an audio module, and I can add different power supplies in, in the bottom. And all the time, this is building up on the top right a product code for me. And this is what, uh, if you're ordering a system, we would quote against. So there's so many uh, variations, it's a much easier way to list the product. And on the right-hand side, I have my output, so I'm going to put uh, two are going to be quad outs, and the last is going to be a 2K8 out guard. And you'll see it already says here I can use three canvases. Now, there's a difference here between Choreomaster 2 and Choreomaster. In Choreomaster 2, I can have up to three canvases. So if you think of this wall as one canvas, I could have three walls uh, and populate them. In Choreomaster, in the 4IU version, I can have four canvases. In the 1RU version, which we call Choreomaster Mini, four canvases, and in the Choreomaster Micro, which is half width 1RU, uh, I can have two canvases. There is a slight uh, difference here, and the configuration table looks slightly different as well. So if I create this, I have to do a little bit of work here, and I'll explain this in more depth when I get to showing you on a live system. There's going to be lots of videos coming up where I'm going to add displays and windows for real uh, behind me. So I'm just going to apply that. All I've done there is set a uniform uh, refresh rate right across all three canvases, if I had three. In a moment, we'll see how big Choreo Master 2 canvases are. They're huge. They're 64,000 pixels by 64,000 pixels, which means actually I can put multiple walls on a single canvas if I want to, which gives me even more flexibility. Now, what I do, I'm just gonna zoom back in again because this is so big. I'm gonna show my assets and start adding displays. I'm not gonna set up a whole wall here, but yeah, I just wanna show you how easy it is to set up a wall. Now, you can see this has come up red, and I've done this on purpose, because if you remember, I set my unified frame rate to 60 frames a second. Now, these, if I double click on one of these it's showing up as 30 so i'm just going to come down put it to 60 and uh, we're all sorted so i'm just going to add a couple here but i could add as many uh, displays as i want if i want to uh, rotate let's just zoom in a little bit if i want to rotate it is simple i've got a handle here to to rotate and i've got a handle to to move uh, i can also do it 
on the bottom bar. I'm set by millimeters at the minute, uh, but I'll also just by clicking pixel mode, I can set everything into to pixel mode. If you want to work in inches, we can do that. But also, so I'll turn off pixel mode, and then what I'll do is I'm just going to do this back to being square. So if I had a, a simple wall, and this is really truly a simple wall for Corey Master, if I want to add sources now, I literally come in here and pull sources uh, on top. So this one I want to be across both, and then I want to add uh, a window on top. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail because in a later video, I'm going to be making this wall behind me from scratch, and I'm going to be talking about uh, display settings. I'm going to talk about window settings as well. Now, the last thing, if I, this was a real wall I was doing, I would save this as a preset as well. So I'll just give it, give it a name, just call it one for now, uh, and I'd add a preset. We can have two types of presets. We can have the traditional preset, which contains both the window position and the source that's in that window. But we can also have layout only presets, which can prove to be really useful if you're programming your Corio Master or Corio Master 2 using a third party automation system as it cuts down on the number of presets you need to create in the first place. What you can also do is you can work with us and if you come into module configuration, you can do this printout uh, and we will build it to this exact spec. Um, so if you're setting up an automation system around it, you're good to go. So that's all I'm gonna do in the offline mode. I'll be showing you loads more of the tools in here uh, as we get on to uh, future sections of this video. But for now, uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.